imagine building a website like Instagram. As a full stack developer, you create both what users see like profiles and threads and the behind the scenes stuff like storing data and handling interaction. You handle everything from making it look good to making sure it works smoothly for users. By understanding both the front end what users see and the back end how everything works behind the scene, you can create a website that not only looks good but also runs smoothly and is easy for users to use. So, being a full stack developer means being able to build a complete and user friendly social media platform from start to finish. Before we begin discussing full stack development, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also, visit the Edureka website for training and certification courses, the link to which is in the description box below. So, what is full stack web development? Full stack web development refers to the practice of building both the front end that is the client side and the back end which is the server side components of a website or web application. In other words, full stack developers are proficient in both the technologies that power what users see and interact with in their web browsers as well as the technologies that handle data storage, user authentication and server side processing behind the scene. So what does a full stack web developer do? A full stack developer is responsible for handling both the front end and back end development of a web application or website. Their role involves an front end development that is creating the user interface UI and user experience UX that users interact with in their web browsers. This involves writing HTML, CSS and JavaScript code to design and implement the visual aspects of the website or application. For example, Implementing a responsive design that adjusts to different screen sizes or adding interactive features like drop down menu or sliders come under front end development. Now let's understand the main task of a front end developer in detail. First, we have user interface design. Web page layout, structure, and aesthetics are created using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This involves developing user interfaces that are visually appealing easy to navigate and responsive to the variety of devices and screen sizes. Next, user experience design. It involves optimizing web page usability and accessibility to provide users with a seamless and enjoyable experience. Front-end developers concentrate on things like site navigation, interactive elements, form usability and overall user engagement. Next, front-end development. Writing code to implement web page design and functionality which includes HTML for content structure, CSS for styling and layout, and JavaScript for interactive and dynamic behavior. Frontend developers use frameworks and libraries such as React, Angular, Vue.js to speed up development and improve user experience. Next, cross-browser compatibility. They ensures that web pages render consistently and function properly across all web browsers and devices. Frontend developers test and troubleshoot browser compatibility issues to ensure a consistent experience for all users. Next, performance optimization. Optimizing web page performance by reducing load times, file sizes, and code, frontend developers use techniques like code splitting lazy loading and image optimization to boost website performance and user experience. Next, moving on to backend development. Building the server-side logic and database interaction that power the application behind the scene. Full stack developers uses the server-side language like JavaScript with Node.js, Python, Ruby, PHP or Java along with the frameworks like Express.js, Django, Ruby on Rails, Laravel or Spring Boot to handle tasks such as data storage, user authentication, and server side processing. So, now let us understand the main task of a back end developer in detail. And first, we have server side development. Writing code to implement server side components, logic, and functionalities in programming languages such as JavaScript with Node.js, Python, Ruby, PHP, or Java. And Data processing, business logic, implementation, and server-side routing are some of the tasks that backend developers handle. Next, database management. Designing, implementing, and managing databases to store and retrieve data effectively. Backend developers use database management systems such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, MongoDB, and Redis to securely and effectively store and manage data. Next, API development. 
developing applications programming interfaces to facilitate communication between a web application front and backends so backend developers create and implement restful or graphql apis that expose data and functionality to client side applications and next we have authentication and authorization implementing user authentication and authorization mechanisms to secure access to protected resources and data backend developers handle tasks such as user authentication password hashing session management and role based access control next performance optimization optimizing the performance and scalability of server side components to handle increasing traffic and workloads backend developers use techniques such as caching load balancing and database indexing to improve performance and responsiveness and for a better understanding let's take a look at a simple table breakdown of both front end and back end technologies first let us go through the front end technologies and the language used by the front end developers is javascript frameworks and libraries that are used are react js which is a javascript library for building user interface developed by facebook It allows developers to create a reusable UI components. And next, Angular, a TypeScript-based framework for building single-page application developed by Google, and it provides a comprehensive solution for front-end development. Next, Vue.js, a progressive JavaScript framework for building user interface known for its simplicity and ease of interaction. Next, jQuery, a fast and feature-rich JavaScript library for DOM manipulation. even handling and animation it simplifies front end development task next we have bootstrap a popular css framework for building responsive and mobile first website and it provides pre designed ui components and layouts next sas or less css pre processors that extend the capability of css with the features like variables and nested rules making style sheets more maintainable and scalable and at last we have typescript a superset of javascript that adds static typing and other features to improve developers productivity and code quality and next moving on to the server side technology the backend developers use the languages such as javascript with node js that is the node js is a runtime environment that allows developers to run javascript on the server side it enables building scalable and high performance web applications and the next language is python a versatile and easy to read programming language often used for web development due to its simplicity and rich ecosystem of libraries and frameworks and the next language is ruby a dynamic and object oriented programming language known for its simplicity and developer friendly syntax it is commonly used with the ruby on rails framework and next java a widely used object oriented programming language known for its portability and scalability It is often used with frameworks like Spring Boot for web development. And next, we have PHP, a server-side scripting language designed for web development. It is known for its ease of use and extensive support for web development task. Next, moving on to frameworks and libraries, the backend developers use ExpressJS, a minimalist web application framework for Node.js. It simplifies server-side development with features like routing, middleware, and template engines. Next, Django. which is a high level python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean pragmatic design so it includes built in features for authentication database orm and templating next ruby on rails a full stack web application framework for ruby it follows the conventions over configuration principle and emphasizes developer productivity next spring boot an opinionated framework for building production ready java applications it provides a comprehensive suite of tools and features for web development and then we have laravel a php web framework known for its elegant syntax and expressive syntax it simplifies common tasks like routing authentication and database management and then moving on to database management systems and back end developers use mongodb no sql a document oriented nosql database known for its flexibility and scalability it stores data in json like documents and is often used for agile development and data intensive applications next mysql and postgresql relational database management system that is rdbms that uses structured query language for data manipulation and retrieval 
They are widely used for transactional applications and complex data models. Next, Firebase, a real-time database service provided by Google. It offers cloud-hosted NoSQL databases and backend services for building mobile and web applications. Next, moving on to the popular web development stacks. The main stack includes MongoDB, ExpressJS, Angular, and Node.js. Next, the main stack compresses MongoDB, ExpressJS, ReactJS, and Node.js. And next, the LAMP stack features Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And then, the Django stack combines Django, PostgreSQL, Nginx, and GUnicorn. Now, let's shift our focus to explore the differences between front-end, back-end, and full-stack development. The front-end development focuses designing the user interface and experience for a website or app, whereas the back-end development focuses on developing and managing server-side logic and database interaction, whereas the full-stack development combines both front-end and back-end development. And next, moving on to the technologies. Languages used in front-end development are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and the languages used in the back-end development are JavaScript, Node.js, Python, Ruby, Java, etc. And the full stack development requires proficiency in both front end and back end technologies. Next, responsibilities. Front end development responsibility includes designing and implementing visual aspects to ensure responsiveness and accessibility, whereas the back end development requires the responsibility of writing server side code, maintaining databases, and implementing authentication. And the full stack development involves in designing, building, and maintaining both client side and server side components. And let us now see some of the examples. Example of a front end development is designing web page layouts and developing interactive elements. And the example for back end development is writing server scripts and managing database queries. And the example for full stack development is building entire web application handling both client and server aspects. Now let's have a look at the advantages of full stack development. Full stack developers can handle both front end and back end tasks. They can manage the entire development process allowing for faster turnaround times. And hiring a full stack developers can be less expensive than hiring separate front end and back end developers. They can effectively communicate with other team members making collaboration easier. Next, a full stack developers can quickly learn new technologies and adapt to changing project requirements. They take ownership of projects from beginning to end, ensuring accountability. And they excel at troubleshooting and problem solving because they understand both sides. Hope you now have a good understanding of a full stack web development, including their languages, frameworks, and libraries. So with this, we have come to the end of this session on what is full stack web development. I hope this video was informative. Thanks for watching and keep learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!